All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this very stylish bottom nav bar. And yeah, let's get started immediately by showing you how it works. So if you click on something, it will open up slowly and you will have a nice animation that displays what item you click on. And this works for all the items. You also have these notification dots, such as this red one over here, and it can be also numbered if you want. And when you click on it, it disappears. So it's a very nicely animated uh, navigation bar. And yeah, that's all we'll be making in this tutorial. And let's go ahead and get started immediately by going to our Gradle folder and clicking on build our Gradle. And there are two things we have to do in here. The first thing is to go under Kotlin options and paste in the build features for view binding. And then we should also go ahead and add a dependency, which I will leave in the comment section below. This is the dependency for the chip navigation bar. So then let's go ahead and click on sync now. And then the next thing we want to do is go ahead to our res file and open the drawable file because we want to create a few vector assets. I'm only gonna show you how to create the first one, but uh, I would recommend you create four of them. So click on vector asset. Then we will just go and click one that is going to be called message and click on okay. And we're just gonna change this to icon underscore message. And it doesn't really matter what color you pick because we will change that later in the XML. But uh, just for now, I guess I'll just leave it on white. So we'll click choose and we'll click on next and finish. So go ahead and do this for three other icons that you want. I'm gonna copy and paste mine right now. And I'm gonna put them inside here. So as you can see, my personal choice was a near me icon which looks like this, then a person icon and a settings icon. So these are gonna be my four icons, but of course you're more than welcome to pick your own. And then the next thing we have to do is go to our res file and right click on it because we need to create a new Android resource file. And this is gonna be for our menu. So we're just gonna call this nav underscore menu. And then it's gonna be a resource type of menu. And this is gonna take care of creating the menu file for us. So let's go ahead and click on okay. And then we will have this nav menu right here. Let's go to the split view. And the first thing we want to do up here is add another XML NS, which is going to equal app. And then we have to add the equal plus a pair of quotation marks and type in HTTP. And you want to get the res auto like that. Then we have to go ahead and create four items. So the first item we're gonna create is for my nav near. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So the first thing we write is item. And then we're gonna type in Android ID and the ID is gonna be at nav underscore near. Then we need to give it an icon, which is going to be at drawable and near me icon. Then we should give it a title, which is going to be nearby. And finally we can type in app. And then this is a special one. So CNB underscore icon color. And you can give it whatever color you want. A way I usually pick a color is just type in hash FFF and then you can go ahead and click on this white square and you can pick whatever color you want. I'm gonna click on blue for this example and do not forget to close it, of course. Then you want to do the same thing for the other three items, but since it is very repetitive, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste in mine from earlier. And you're more than welcome to copy this if you want, but otherwise just copy what you did for the first one for the other three and you can pick different colors for that as well. As you can see here for the message, I picked red for the profile I picked green and for the settings I picked yellow. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and move on to our activity XML. Then we have to go to split view. And the first thing we're gonna do inside here is change this to a relative layout. Then I also wanna change the background color to hash E, 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 six times. Then we can actually just get rid of this text view and just write it from the beginning so it's easier. So text view, which is going to be wrap content and wrap content. We're gonna give it a text size of 20 SP. Then we're gonna give it a text of welcome. We want to center this in parent and set that to true. And we want to give it an ID, which will be text underscore main. And finally a caller, which I will just set to caller.black and close that. Then you can highlight everything and do control plus alt plus L to reformat it. And right under that, we can go ahead and add this navigation bar. So open angle bracket is, and you just wanna pick the one that says the chip navigation bar like that. And the width is going to match the parent while the height is just going to be set at 60 dp. Then let's give it an ID of bottom nav 
bar and we want to align this to the parent bottom and set that to true. Then we want to give it a background color of white. So we'll just do hash FFF and we need to give it a menu resource, which of course is going to be our nav menu. And once you do that, you should see all of your icons and your titles displayed at the bottom and we can safely close this element. Then let's reformat that as well. So everything looks nice and clean. And finally, the last thing to do is to go to our main activity and set up the code so we can actually make it work. But the first thing we want to do is create our view binding. So private late init var, and this is just going to be called binding. Then we have to go and get the automatically generated activity binding class. And down below here, right below super on create, we can type in binding is going to equal activity main binding dot inflate and it's going to inflate the layout inflator. Then all we have to do is set the content view to binding dot root. And I'm actually going to have to add another line of code, which is the app compat delegate. And I want to set the default night mode to false essentially. So then we just have to call that again and write mode night no. And all this line of code does is stop it from going into dark mode. And next we have to go and create a method called set up tab bar. And right below we can go ahead and create this method private function set up tab bar and create a block. So all we have to do in here is call our binding and then we have to refer to our bottom nav bar and set on item selected listener. And when the item that was selected is called, we can do something with that item and call a certain event. So when the nav near icon is called, we can call our text view by typing in binding dot text main dot text and set it to nearby. And we can do the same thing for our chat. So nav new chat and call binding dot text main dot text and set that to chat. Then let's go ahead and type in r.id dot nav profile. And this time we are going to open up a block because I want to insert several lines of code. So the first thing we'll do is change the text to profile. And then we'll also create a notification dot minding dot bottom nav bar dot show badge. And we need to add the ID of the image that we want to show it on. And for this, we want to show it on the settings to simulate that something updated in the settings page. And then we should go ahead and create the settings option. So let's go to nav settings and we're going to create another block in here. So first binding dot text main dot text is going to equal settings. And then we want to clear the badge when the user clicks on this setting. So binding dot bottom nav bar dot dismiss badge. And we need to pick where we want to dismiss it. So r.id and nav settings. And as you can see right here, it's actually really, really simple to set up this nav bar and there's so much you can do with it very fast. So now when we go ahead and click on run, we should have a very nice bottom nav bar. And as you can see, the first thing that happens is we have welcome in the text view because nothing is selected. But as soon as we click on an item, it changes the text view to the item we click on, such as chat. And this is usually used to change a fragment, or you can even change to a different activity if you prefer. But uh, yeah, that's the basic use of it. We click on nearby, it opens nearby. We click on profile, it creates a small red bubble here. We click on that, it disappears. But if we click on profile again, it will reappear because that's what we told it to do down here. And yeah, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.